Coach Wynn? No, not. Coming back from New York, Ryan and I are not in a good place. We're both not seeing eye to eye, and we're just in a place that is putting me back in this uncertainty again, and it's the last thing I wanted to happen going into decision day. But Dr. Pepper is coming over tonight, and it's going to cause a lot of emotion. Oh, hi. Good to see you again. Good to see you. But maybe if it does, then it's just a sign that we really care about each other, and Ryan and I will work out. How are you? So the first thing I've noticed, you know, I could sort of immediately tell you look sad. Mm. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I did. Um, I don't know. I guess I feel like it's the same situation of him the wanting to go out and, and me feeling like I'm being, like, not fun, but it keeps happening. And we really want it to not happen again, and it did. And for me, I know it's, it's just been really hard to go forward. I don't know. I'm just, like, really confused. I don't understand where it went into big deal. I don't know. It did, though. It ended up being, like, another end-all argument where we were bringing up divorce, and there it is again. Something like that small of a miscommunication or an argument, like, leads to divorce. And whether I provoked it or she did, it, it happened again. This is a marriage, and marriages are not supposed to say it's over every time there's a problem, or even if it's a disappointment, or even if it's a long patch of disappointment. You two have a lot to offer each other, and you have decisions to make next week. And uh, he's not getting all his way, and you're not getting all your way, and there's disappointments. Of course there's disappointments. That's the stuff that grown-ups work out. What I see in you, Ryan, is a certain rigidity about a woman has to fit in your life a certain way. I think you've made a frame, and everything has to fit in it, and life's not like that. Dr. Pep saying, like, you have to, like, be more flexible. But I think Jackie definitely does fit in my, my frame of like what I want to be in a happy marriage. So we have to make sure that we're on the right page and move forward. Ryan, all I can say is you have to figure out a way to say things that don't sound like always or never. Yeah. Because that doesn't give any reason for hope. And for me, I, I don't have a great past with the relationships. We both know that, but you're the one I want to be with. Hearing Ryan say that he wants to be with me, it gave me some reassurance that both of us are really still fighting for this marriage, and this is the biggest risk of my life. And I want it to go much longer than eight weeks. I didn't know the first week that I met you if I was going to have strong enough feelings to feel sad if anything was to go sour and to feel like this emotional and this vulnerable it makes me feel like i must like you that much and that's scary but it's obviously a telling sign that i care that much about this i want it <laughs>